Welcome to Deconstructing Chatbots. I'm Priyanka Vergaria and in this episode, we are going to explore how to integrate dialogue flow with Google Assistant. Once you build your agent on dialogue flow, you can use the one-click integration to connect to various platforms such as Google Assistant, Slack, Facebook Messenger, Twitter, and more. Today, we are going to look at integrating dialogue flow with Actions in Google. Actions in Google is a platform where you can create software to extend the functionality of Google Assistant. By integrating dialogue flow with Actions in Google, you can reach over 500 million devices that support Google Assistant, such as smart speakers, phones, cars, TVs, or watches. Let's consider the same appointment scheduler chatbot that we built in the previous episode and work through the integration. Click on integrations. We are going to explore Google Assistant integration today, so let's just click that. In the pop-up window, we define explicit invocation. What intent do we want to trigger when a user says, OK, Google, talk to smart scheduler? Smart scheduler here is our trigger name. We will see where to set it up in just a little bit. In our case, welcome intent is the perfect spot for the user to land on. So we will just stick to that. Let's say a user says, OK, Google, ask Smart Scheduler to set an appointment for 5 p.m. tomorrow. That is an implicit invocation. So in this case, we could invoke our schedule appointment intent directly since we know exactly what the user wants to do. If we want this service to be only available for signed-in users, then you can check the sign-in required button. In our case, it's just a demo, so we will just keep it open to everybody. We are then going to click on Test first. Since we just developed our app, let's see how it functions, or if it functions correctly. Okay, that looks great. Now let's explore the Manage Assistant app button. This provides us to set up the invocation name to our chatbot. We called it Smart Scheduler. This is also the place to select male or female voice for your assistant. Going back to Overview, we have already built our application and it's ready to test. When you're ready for deployment, make sure you have selected the countries you want to deploy in and the surfaces you want your actions to run on. You will have to provide a description for your application, sample invocations. For example, here we've added Talk to Smart Scheduler. You can add more. It also requires two images, one small and one large. Contact details and privacy information. Fill up all those things. Once you have done all that and feel comfortable to push the application to production, use the Release option to submit to production. Of course, here we have not finished the overviewed items, so we don't have the ability to submit to production yet. You can also enable the launch in beta to open it up for up to 200 users. With alpha release, you can enable your action for up to 20 users without submitting for review. All right, so today we used our appointment scheduler chatbot that we built in the previous episode and integrated it with actions on Google. Don't miss the next episode of Deconstructing Chatbots because we are going to make our appointment scheduler a little bit smarter. <laughs>